guys, welcome back. And today, um, I have a fingerboard. <laughs> so I'm going to teach you some fingerboard tricks. I'm going to teach you three fingerboard tricks. I'm going to make a lot of thing. I might make a lot of fingerboard um, videos, uh, but I'm going to teach you some basic tricks for beginners. Three tricks. Three. Tr Three basic tricks for beginners on the finger skateboard. I'm never gonna do it on the natural skateboard because I I can't <laughs> I can like push off and stuff and like do 50-50 grinds on ledges, but without doing an ollie, I have to like get on top of the ledge and get on it and then like swoop off the right, right. But that's all I can do, and that's not entertaining unless I fall. <laughs> so um, I have this deck. In this deck, I'm going to switch them around on each video. So today I'm going to have this deck, and then tomorrow I'm going to have this deck, and then tomorrow I'm going to have this deck, and you know it'll switch. It'll be a cycle until I get a new deck. So the first one is an ollie. Now I, um, some people prefer to do, uh, excuse me, three fingers, but I prefer to do two. So what you're going to do is um, pop your tail, this is the tail, you're going to pop your tail, and it should like make you go up in the air, like that, and then um, some people slide their finger up, which I, can't, I don't do that because I don't have very high pop, so I just like decide to like just put a lot of my weight on my on my index finger. So that's what I do. But some people like to like do an ollie slide to even it out in it and you land when you get when you do that you're this when you land like this that's the sweet spot. That's I that's what I've heard anyway. You can go to this, to this, this, to this, this, to this, this, to this. And when, once you learn an ollie, an ollie is the basic um, mover to doing tons of crazy tricks. Sorry, I dropped it. Tons of crazy tricks. And um, there's a test that you can do. So, like, I have a crack right here because it bends down. The table bends down. So... Um, you can also use, like, a rail to jump over. This one, like, has little buttons because it goes to a portable skate park, but I can't show that. Um, <laughs> it, you can use any, really anything that you can ollie over, like a board. You can even use another finger skateboard to ollie over it, but I can't. There you go. But, um, when you've jumped over it, and, like, without feeling that bump on it, that's when you know you've done an ollie. That's how I checked the first time I did an ollie. I'm like, wait, was that an ollie? And then I did it, and then I did it on the crack, and I'm like, I didn't feel the track! I did an ollie! So, that's how I tested it. Some people, like, use, like, super big stuff to start off, but don't do that. I used to do, I did that. No, don't do that. Just use, like, something that's even built into the table, if you can, to just see if you can make it over. Um, the next trick I'm going to show you is called a pop shove. Um, you don't really even need, uh, your index finger for this, so don't really use three fingers. I want it anyway. Some people do. But a pop shove it is when you do an ollie, like I showed you, but then you're going to twist with your uh, middle finger, and I'll make your board twist 90 degrees. I just did a 360 shove it. Um, there's, uh, it's also called a shove. 
uh, shove it, you know, there's, uh, pop should have shove it is the original name, I think, um, there might be something else, but that's what I know of, and, it, it's, it's almost the same motion of an ollie, but you just need to flick with your middle finger like that. It actually, I, I think that it's easier than an ollie, but that's what I think. Some people think that ollie, they're like, oh no, ollies are better, be, uh, ollies are easier because you don't have to flick or anything like that, but you know, I don't, I don't think so. So, um, the next trick I'm going to show you is probably the hardest trick that you're going to get in this video. Actually, the last trick I'm going to show you is the kickflip. Now, um, what I prefer is to put my middle finger right here. You see? This is my ollie placement right here. You see? And then this is my kickflip placement. I still have enough um, room to pop, but I also have to flick forward like that. And I know some people think that heel flips are easier. I personally agree. <laughs> because I can easily do this like a heel flip first try. Okay, maybe not now, but I, I can do the heel flip first try. I think kick flips are a little harder. Because I don't do good um, with my middle finger flipping forward. I can just flip, flip backward with my middle finger. So, um, some, uh, so I would try the heel flip first because it say it seems to be easier with people I know. So you know, ju I just like it's the same thing, but you just flip backward. See, ollie placement. Kick flip placement, uh, heel flip placement, same thing. So, uh, that's gonna be the end of this video. I might make another one. So, uh, um, I'll see you guys and see you with this deck in the next episode. Bye.